Hi guys, this is Zach from Watches on You, and today I'm going to be making a video about my personal thoughts on PVDing your watch, um, mainly PVDing a Rolex or luxury brands pieces. So this has been kind of a, a little bit of a trend recently. There are decent number of companies that will take your luxury watch and give it a black PVD or DLC coating. So first I'd just like to go over what a PVD or DLC coating actually is. So a PVD coating is a where they will actually vaporize a set of metals and then in a heated vacuum they will layer it over the watch and it will give it a black coating like this. Now DLC is diamond-like carbon where they'll actually be using carbon instead of metal and then they'll layer that over the sides of the watch. So the way you can really tell is typically a DLC watch is going to have, it's going to be more shiny than a PVD. You can see this really has no polished edges. A decent number of DLC watches will have some polished edges on it. Now it is, it can be kind of hard to tell though which one they're using. This one I have right here is actually a PVD and not a DLC. So this is the Ro or PVD coated Rolex Milgauss. Now this is one of the more common watches that actually gets this done as it just kind of brings a whole new look to the watch as you when if you get the dark dial it really can kind of bring it out a little bit but the one problem with these PVD coatings and that's kind of my kind of stance is I would say don't don't do it I don't think it's a good idea now I'm going to explain why I think that so the problem with PVD, especially PVD, DLC coating still will do it over time, but since it's carbon, it's gonna be a bit stronger than a PVD, which is just a type of metal that's coated over it. So over time, you're actually going to get uh, nicks and scratches that are gonna go through the PVD coating. And this one, you can see it has, it's starting to do it on some of the corners. This is a fairly rarely worn PVD coated watch, so you're not gonna see it that much. But over time, you're gonna get scratches and then you're gonna start seeing the steel underneath and this is really a problem you're only going to be having with a pvd coated watch when if it's stainless steel and you get a scratch there's just more uh whiter colored stainless steel underneath versus this you're going to have black with then bright white stainless steel scratches which i really doesn't don't think looks very good now another thing with pvd or dlc is you're totally covering up the high quality finishing that you're getting on a watch like a rolex so you can see here there's really no finishing whatsoever and pvd and dlc coating is a pretty easy process to do it's not necessarily too complicated not even close to how complicated it is to hand finish a rolex watch and so you can see it really just covers everything up and you do not get the beauty and high quality of Rolex's finishing that you would on a watch that is not coated. And that goes for any brand. You're just not going to get the level of finishing that the brand wanted to put into the watch. And typically you're going to get a far, far worse level of finishing because you'll just get this kind of matte finish, which I'm not a huge fan of. So... Overall, I just kind of think it's not worth it to do a PVD coated watch. You're really kind of ruining the watch's look in my opinion and taking away all the finishing that makes it great. And also one thing I haven't mentioned that is resale value. If you're trying to resell a PVD watch, it will be very hard to do it or you're gonna get a lot lower price than you would if it wasn't PVD coated just because the vast majority of people don't want it because of the very reasons I've stated earlier. And also the thing with PVD coating is you can't really take it off once you put it on I mean you may I haven't at least heard of anyone doing it maybe you could find someone who would sand your watch down and refinish it but that would be an extremely expensive and long process so I don't really think there are any companies that would really be willing to do that for you even so I think it just kind of ruins I guess significance of the piece so let me know what you guys think down in the comments I would like to just let you guys know we'll still be leaving a link in the description to our Amazon store if you want to see our favorite kind of straps cheaper watches watch tools but thank you guys for watching this video remember to like subscribe and share thank you